I'm here with Representative Jason Dunnington of Oklahoma City, Democrat of Oklahoma City, here in the Republican uh, Ball for well, Governor I Kevin. Oklahoma City, you do, so and it's here it in Oklahoma City. Sense, yeah. No, no, but uh, people across the aisle here uh, celebrating this yeah. big day for the state, kind of a new beginning. Uh, your thoughts as uh, Governor State takes office today? Well, what I've said after the race, I, I told him, I've told others, there was no secret that I supported his opponent. Um, but after the governor won the race, I think that we should all want him to be successful. I mean, I've got a 12-year-old son and a 10-year-old daughter, and their lives will get better if this state gets better. So we should all, at this point, get behind and try and be supportive. And um, as a Democrat, we should also hold the governor accountable, hold the majority party accountable to making sure that the state gets better for everyone, uh, not just one party or one group of people. So thrilled to be here, thrilled to be supportive. Um, I think that there's a lot of great opportunity right now. Governor Stinnett's address today talked about working across the aisle with Democrats and Republicans. I'm sure that's been said before on Inauguration Day, but what gives you hope that Kevin Stitt will be successful in that regard? You know, he, political outsider, um, and so, you know, part of the advantage to that is that he hasn't, you know, he doesn't have all of that, that history of doing things a certain way. So I think he's reaching out to the right people. I think he's um, attempting to ask the right questions, and that's a great start. Like I said, we should all want the governor to be successful, and as Democrats, we should do our very best to hold him accountable for that. Um, if he's successful and we hold him accountable, our state gets better and things work. Yeah, so. Representative, thanks so much for your time. Enjoy yourself tonight. Thanks Thank you.